Good morning, ladies. We are going to get started on some education today. I'm going to share with you um, what I shared with many of the ladies at the Day Away trainings. So this is just a quick glimpse, at, um, and we'll go through the slides of the different um, the different uh, things I talked about at Day Away. But for a little background, I just want to let you know that as a business owner, a lot of the a lot of my business comes from doing home parties. So with the new perk system, I wanted to find a great way to educate you guys on um, ways to help make your hostess perky, to help create more success for your hostess. I really wanted to find a system that was easy and duplicatable for everyone. So that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. Let's See. Move on. Perk your hostess. Prepare, educate, reward, and keep connected. So with this program, I took the acronym, I made an acronym out of PERK. So this is an easy way for you to remember how to make your hostess more more perky. You're going to prepare them and we'll educate you a little bit on that. We're going to educate our hostess and their guests. We're going to reward a hostess and her guests. And we're going to find ways to keep connected and make ourselves as a consultant stand out from other consultants. Now each of these could be their own training in themselves. So we're going to cover them very briefly and you can find a way to customize these for your own business. But a system like this is easy because you never forget the things that you have to cover and it can be so easily changed to your needs. So let's start out, we're going to start out with the P, prepare. What you need. So one of the things that we have talked about as a team and as a company is making sure you have your hostess packets ready to go. So that means, um, you know, I usually have three to four ready at a time. Maybe more if I have a busy month, I may have 10 ready so I don't have to repeatedly make up hostess packets. But we have lots of great um, trainings in the box and we have talked about them on um, Posh Crew that you, we've talked about what to add into a hostess packet and I'm going to show you one of the extra things that I add in. But to be prepared, have those hostess packets ready to go. Um, we're also going to talk about, I wanted to talk about invites. How are you inviting people? You want to customize this to your hostess. Maybe your hostess um, is on Facebook a lot and that works for her. But I often find another avenue to invite those guests. So I'll ask her, hey, would you like me to mail out some postcards for you? Or can I create some postcards for you to hand out to your friends and family? Because if they have a paper that comes in, a postcard that comes in the mail, or their hostess personally or friend personally hands them a postcard, it is a great reminder to them to hang it on their fridge that this is going to be something that they want to attend. Now Facebook to me is a great way to make connections and keep those people excited. Get them excited for what you're going to be doing at the spa retreat. Um, educate them on, and we'll talk about this a little bit more in the E, educate them on perks. Show them the products that they're going to have on them and how fun and exciting it is. This is where you get them engaged before the party even begins. Another thing that you want to do when you're preparing is really connect with your hostess. Personally meet or talk to her on the phone. So I have a three, three ways that I connect with my hostess. The first one is I want to connect with her to confirm her date. Make sure she checks her calendar. Make sure she, she feels comfortable with that date and it's going to work in her family, in her situation. Number two, Get a contact list. Go over the packet. If you mail the packet, make sure you contact her and say, hey, I just wanted to go over the things in your packet and make sure we were on the same page. So that's your number two connection. 
And number three connection, you want to contact her 24 to 48 hours before her spa retreat to really ramp up the fun. Let her know the things that you're bringing. Ask her if there's certain items that she wants you to bring. And really ramp up the fun for her because this is going to set the stage for the spa retreat night. So those are some great ways to, to really be prepared for a perky spa. Um, let's move on to our next one. Next one is E. Educate. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? That's your hostess. That's your customers coming. And this is where um, Facebook, um, having a Facebook event to correlate with the invites really is helpful. I'm first with the hostess. I'm going to explain perks personally with her. I want to show her what she can earn by sharing her referral link where she finds her referral link, and how to best earn them. So with this extra perk that we have that when they get a party over 200 or they use your referral link and they get over 200 and move to 10 perks per dollar, there's a huge incentive to really show the hostess how she can be perky. Um, I also will have her do a wish list. And we'll talk a little bit about this because I do um, a fun little um, insert to my hostess packet that really challenges the hostess to get extras on top of her perks that come from me. So have her create a wish list so she knows the things she's working for. Also, use your perk postcards or brochures that are in the Posh portal. Those are great to hand out. They provide a lot of information so that they're not overly um, overwhelmed with all the information they're, giving, they're given. You can hand them a brochure and they can reference it. And again, on your Facebook events, you're going to educate and encourage their friends and families to sign up for perks. And I will um, talk a little bit about my reward system with customers and signing up for perks before the spa retreat, how I re reward them but show them how to do it. Share the link to do it. Just really get them connected with our awesome perks program. Next, we're going to move on to reward. Why should they participate? Why should the hostess participate? And why should her customers and friends participate? We talked about sharing the perk benefits on the Facebook page. I will often play a fun little game before the spa retreat even happens on the Facebook event. I'll tell them, hey, if you sign up for perks before the spa retreat, your name gets entered into winning a fun spa prize from me. So not only am I telling them what they can earn with their perks, I'm encouraging them to do it even before the spa retreat. Um, and then it's just an easy little ticket game that you throw it in and you draw for a winner. It can be a hand cream. A, I usually do a hand cream with a little bath bomb in it. Super easy, super duplicatable. Um, I will also, um, you, another game that I've heard from other leaders that they do is they do have them pull out their cell phones at the spa retreat and the first person to sign up for perks gets the prize. So you can, if you have a competitive group, that might be something good that you can do. I'm going to show you my Go Girl Go challenge. That's my hostess reward challenge. And then later, I'm going to show you on my customer care card how I reward my customers for doing the things that are going to help my business. So I'm rewarding their behavior that's going to help my business. So this is just a fun little graphic. It's a My Go Girl Go. Um, so this is the little graphic I love to use and it, it's in regards to hostess rewards. So hostess challenge goals. So I do hostess challenge go goals and my sheet goes in my hostess packet and I really educate those hostesses on the benefits 
of doing the hostess challenge because we're creating the behavior and rewarding what they want what we want them to do which in turn is going to make their party better for themselves too so with my hostess challenge I have a cute little graph of, I have made up and you can change it the way you want but number one have them complete their guest list on time so whether you're handing out an invite or you're asking them to fill out their memory jogger, we have that great list in our um, packet. Have them complete it, complete it on time. Have 10 ladies in attendance. Um, now, if that seems like a too hard of a challenge and you want to, to make it a little different for yourself, Maybe you encourage the hostess to have 10 ladies sign up for the perk program that she knows. So she's sharing how awesome the perk program is and encouraging them to sign up. Number three, have five outside orders. Girls, this really is pretty easy. If she works anywhere or she um, has friends that can't attend, she may get three outside orders online and then collect two others and she has her five outside orders right there and then lastly have one outside booking and these are all easy challenges for you to support her in during your Facebook ramping up the fun um, event that you have going on so part of this hostess um, challenge goals is they earn their favorite posh product for free when they complete that challenge. So let's say on their wish list, their number one thing is um, the anti-aging serum. So that may be the product I give them for free for completing their challenge reward. Plus, just think of all the extra perks they're going to get for doing that. They have just created a a, an amazing um, perky behavior there. So part of that is always presenting in front of them what perks can do for them. So on my little re hostess reward challenge sheet, I always let them know what are some of the other ways I can earn perks. And you're constantly putting that in front of them because sooner or later they're going to catch it they're, and they're going to say, oh, I just realized if I purchase three months consistently, I can get 500 perks. So don't be afraid to put that everywhere. Okay, keep connected. I'm going to show you how I use Perky Certificate and Customer Care Cards to really help my business. You really want to find a way that you're making yourself stand out from other consultants and you're providing top-notch follow-up. So my customer care cards help me do that. My VIP group on Facebook provides the avenue for me to share specials and keep them connected and really know the people that I want to focus on. I will talk about thank you cards and magnets. Those are so important to your business to keep people connected to you and to really show them how you care. And then um, have referral and rewards for staying connected. So that's the same as your perks. Um, it's its own reward program that you don't even have to provide for that them staying connected really helps you um, See, see them to see that for themselves. So right here is my certificate of perkiness. This is a fun little graphic I made up to help again educate people of the perk program, what they're earning, and help them see the different ways that they can increase their perks rewards. So this little certificate I actually have on a sheet of paper. There's four per sheet and I cut them out and I put them in my thank you card with a business magnet and inside the circle of the of the flower I actually will put how many perks they earned on their order 
So when I'm filling out their thank you card and I slip that in there, I make reference to, hey, make sure you finish out your perk profile so that you can get free or reduce price pampering products. So again, constantly getting the program in front of them and yourself with your business magnets so that they can stay connected to you as their consultant. Now, let's run through my customer care card. Now, this is something I have done since day one. Um, it has changed forms quite a bit as we have changed our business. On the front, you'll see the contact information at the top. At my home spa retreat, this is the only sheet I have them pay attention to because on the front is the information I want to present to them. On the back, is their wish list. So it's two-sided and that's all they need to pay attention to during the spa retreat. Now, I highly encourage you to get them to fill this out completely. And the way that you do that is say, hey, if you can fill this out completely, I will fill out your whole order form for you and have all of your contact information to provide you the best service. Also, if you haven't signed up for the PERC program, your email will allow me to send you a referral link to finish that off so you can earn PERCs on the purchase today. So it's a very easy way to help you remember and also encourage them to completely fill it out. Next on the how interested are you in following uh, in the following is great for me because I am a relationship builder. And when I'm at a party, I will plant seeds about home spa retreats. I will plant seeds about the business opportunity. But if a host, if a customer at the spa retreat marks on here that maybe a two or a one, that they're not really interested in the business opportunity. I'm probably not going to push that subject with them. But if they have an 8, 9, or 10, I'm going to present a question to them as, I see you really are interested in a spa retreat. Um, are you thinking this month or next month? So it presents it so you don't have to feel like you're pushy. I love that about my customer care card. And then again, at the bottom, again, I'm planting information about perks. How can they become perky? And this is a great memory jogger for you during the spa retreat to plant these seeds. Now, in the reward section, I talked about rewarding my customers for the behavior I want to see. So, this at the bottom is super fun for me. If you see it, it says, Shaleen Agu, um, find me on Facebook, and that's my business page, Post a selfie for a free lip balm. So super easy because during this spa retreat, I'm going to say we're going to be having so much fun. We're going to be putting on facial masks. We may be doing foot scrubs. If you take time and snap a picture of you and your friend having fun and post it on my Facebook business page, I'll give you a free lip balm. So we're creating that behavior that's also going to help boost our business because that's free advertisement. If they get on your business page and say, oh my gosh, look at all the fun we're having at Carrie's Spa Retreat and post a picture, that is creating great relationships, great morale, and pulling people to your business site. And then again, the back of the sheet has a wish list. So they're jotting down the things they like, and if they don't purchase them all, you have this on hand, so when you follow up, you can say, I see that, how are you liking the BFF? I noticed on here you also mo marked the Moisture 911. Well, ha did you know that was on sale this week? Or maybe, would you like me to send, a, send you a sample of that? Because you think that would really go well with your BFF. Guys, this doesn't have to be fake. You're creating a relationship and you're providing a service for them. And these are great ways that you can customize them to be the best that they can be for your business and to really give back to the customer, to the hostess, and also to your own business. 
So as you're thinking about making your hostess perky, really remember the reasons why you started this business. And this is my family here and my pets. They're really, really important to me. And just remember, go, girl, go. Create something that's duplicatable for your business that you can use to follow up, that you can use to make yourself stand out from other consultants. Remember, prepare, educate, reward, and keep connected. Keep it up, girls. You've got this one.